Today's video is about how I create sequences in Vixen. So first off, we need to find some music obviously. So I wouldn't rip stuff off YouTube because it sounds terrible. And if you're going to be sequencing, you'll probably play the song 10,000 times in the process. Find a source of music that's of decent quality. So we're going to use the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. I've already purchased that one. Before it even hits Vixen, we bring it into Audacity and normalize the audio. So when we play all our different songs in the sequence as part of the show, they're all going to be the same consistent volume. Um, and that's just effect, normalize, and then we'll export as a mp3 file. Back to Vixen, new sequence, then we go audio associate. So the next step is we add some timing marks and this is a lot easier than what it used to be in the older versions. We can just run the detection wizard on it and it'll find the beats and the bars of the music and it seems to do a pretty good job. So I untick this one and then I like to have my particular color coding preference which uh, for bars is the dark red. And then these fellas, we make a light yellow. That's better. And then we've got some timing marks. So I'm just gonna play that now and just make sure it sort of lines up. Now, you guys can't hear the music because I've deliberately stripped it out so the YouTube copyright doesn't get set off by it. Once you've got the audio in, I then like to break up my sequence into different sections. So I've added a couple of dummy tracks in here called Info and Verse, which I just use as a visual guide to let me know whereabouts in the sequence I am because when you're scrolling backwards and forwards, it'll become a bit confusing after a while. So what I just do is I just set a uh, set level effect for each section. So we'll mark out the introduction and then the chorus. So if we clone those and I give them a different color depending on what it is. And then we can actually label it if we bodgy up the launcher because it's got text on it. We can put that up there and we just call it description like intro, chorus, and whatnot. So about 15 minutes later, we've finally got the entire song marked out. So bits of a song where it repeats, I've made it the same color. So we sort of get a visual representation of how the song progresses. So my next problem is I don't want to use the entire two minutes of this song because I haven't got the street capacity to have a huge amount of people out the front. So we've sort of got to make it make these sequences fairly concise and anything uploaded online anyway people only watch the first 10 seconds of it so it doesn't really matter and it makes it quicker to sequence when there's less of it so after much umming and ahhing because this was quite a good song I'm probably going to cut it about where the red bit starts so it's back to audacity and then we'll trim down this mp3 file fade it in, bring it back into Vixen again, and do this whole process again with our shorter sequence. So in the end, we end up with something that looks like this with my very technical names of it, being an acapella song. It's probably a bit hard to describe each section of the song. Normally, if it was a normal song, I would just use the lyrics. And you may be wondering why that looks slightly different to the beginning of the video. It's because I'm using the completely unsupported third-party label plugin, which basically combines what I was originally doing using the launcher as a fake label control with some color behind it. So yeah, one of the developers cooked that one up. 